a lot of folks in Montana, they want to know where did the homes go? Where did the hot tubs go? Where did our bridges and roadways go that fell into our waterways during last summer's historic flooding? Well, this right here is what 6,000 cubic yards of vegetative debris looks like. This took crews about two weeks to clear from Rock Creek near Red Lodge. And the cleanup project is expected to take a couple of months and result in up to 100,000 cubic yards of debris. Anything from vegetative to homes. This is the moment Mike Kinsey's Park City home toppled into the Yellowstone River last June. It was carried five miles downstream, lodging on a sandbar near Laurel. Now it's awaiting an archaeological survey and is expected to be removed this month. It was pretty dramatic when it left here. This is where the house sat and this was the very back of the house. These are my water lines going out to where my house was out here. Other than a miracle, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Several other homes were also ripped from the riverbanks, but unlike Mike's, most disintegrated and personal belongings are long gone. It's a lot of debris. Most of that home debris is destined for the landfill, but vegetative debris is set for incineration. We'll burn it down to almost nothing, and it's really clean, it's, it's efficient. It can burn several hundred thousand cubic yards of vegetative debris really quickly. But with spring water levels on the rise, time is a factor. We also have rock and sediment that came down that has caused less river channel. After a winter of working closely with various agencies, Jake Ganyu says permitting is in progress and crews are gearing up to remove that rock and sediment. We're doing this as quickly, safely and efficiently as we can. Bridges and culverts that crumbled into the raging waters are also being drug out. CTC Disaster Response does the actual removal and Debris Tech does the removal monitoring. The two traveling contractors specialize in disaster recovery around the country and have debris removal down to a science, charging the state by the cubic yard. Right now it's around $3 million. It could go up. The project, 75% funded through a FEMA public assistance grant and 25% by a non-federal cost share. But ask any flood victim and they'll tell you, you can't put a price on memories lost. This was taken in 1997. We see all these cottonwoods. This one was still in the yard when the house went. That one and this one over here that you can't see and this one, they all went that night. Boy. In Red Lodge, Diane Parker, MTN News.